Oh, so in the previous video, we saw that uh, the basic idea of, you know, just creating some class and then using the variable fields, right? Uh, so here it is. Uh, if we take a look at this car class, we see it has three fields, right? But usually a class even has more than this. So what more is, it's called as methods in a class. That is also in other words called functions. Now, suppose a car has, you know, start, you know, so usually a car can start, right? A car can start, a car can uh, shut off, right? <clears throat> okay, so if, if, if I start and shut off, then we fire this method. Okay, so here it is. Let us start by typing the method public void car start. So this is a method, right? STA, oops, START. Okay, so this is a method in which I am going to say s out system dot out dot println car started. Now, in the next line, I'm going to define a method called public void car shut off. Now, what this method does is it's going to simply say a uh, car, you know, engine off. So now that we have defined methods in our class as well, how are we going to use it? Well, you have to first understand that, now what I'm going to do is here it is, s out. I would actually, let me get rid of this. Okay, so now we have Benz, right? Benz is a car and Benz, is incidentally also called as object. So Benz is an instance of the car class. Now you might hear me talk a lot of keywords. One is instance, object. So what is this? Basically an instance is the object for a, a particular class. Now if I say Benz dot car start. Now, we are calling this car start method on the Benz object. Uh, so if I right click and run this method, the main method, now you see, apart from what it was displaying previously, we also have car started. Now, if I do Benz dot car shut off, it is going to print out pretty much what we expected, that is car engine off. So the reason I'm doing this video is that, you know, you have to be able to pick on the fact that uh, a class can have fields and methods, or in other words, class can have objects and methods. Now this is what is called as basically encapsulation, where we put in Inside a class, we'll have methods, actually methods and fields, right? So we are encapsulating or binding the, ob you know, the methods and the objects, right? That's it for this video. Uh, in the next video, we'll talk more about uh, this concept of class.